What's up everybody that up here right here and back to bring you some more Visual Basic 2010 tutorials. This is the fifth tutorial and I think that I pretty much taught you guys everything that you need to know. Um and there really is nothing left to do um as for uh the forms tutorial and we can actually get into making our first program tutorial. So we're gonna start off with one of the simplest uh programs that I've ever made and it's basically just a stammer and this was the first program I've ever made in Visual Basic using a YouTube tutorial when I first signed up found out about it and we're gonna recreate it and we're gonna pimp it out too so there's a couple things you're gonna, not, you're gonna need um, you're gonna need like a, a small area you don't really need it that big you don't need to put a button a button, a text box, and a timer. Now, what you want to do is you want to put the text box probably on top row. Uh, yeah, that that seems good enough. Oh my bad, you want to put two buttons. Uh, you can also put a third one, but we're gonna but we're gonna use that when we pimp it out. And what I'm gonna be doing in the next few tutorials is keep adding to the spammer to teach you guys some more stuff you can do with your basics and take that information that I already told you and transfer it to uh, new programs that we can make out of just that. So we have this aligned pretty good. Let's just change the text in button 1 to say start to start the spammer and button 2 is going to say stop the spammer. So let's just close this up. So this is, this is all we pretty much need right now. As you can see, it's pretty basic. So, what we wanted to do is, we want, when we hit the start button, it's going to start the first timer, well, timer one. And every time timer one ticks, which we're going to set the interval in a second, um, every time that ticks, we're going to make it send uh, whatever's inside of text box one as a message. Then, when we hit stop, it's going to stop the timer. And then, using that logic that we just applied, it's going to stop sending the messages. So, in order to do this, we're going to have to set the timer one interval to uh, um, however fast we want the, uh, the uh, however fast we want the spam. So, let's say we want the spam of one millisecond. We put one millisecond in, a um, thousand for one second. Let's just leave it at a hundred. That's a reasonable rate. So, we're just going to leave that as a, at a hundred right now. And in a later video, after after we start pimping this thing all out a little bit, we're gonna actually make it so we can set it through the program. So we're pretty much good right now, and all we now have to do now is set the buttons to start and stop the timer, and then set the timer up to set to send the messages. So if we double click on the button, we can go inside the code, and we can just this is the, the entire command: timer one dot timer one dot enabled equal true so this is going to enable the timer to start ticking and then double click the stop button and timer one dot enabled equal false so this is going to stop the timer and now we'll just double click the uh, timer and we can start setting our code to spam so the actual code to do this is a send keys command and a send key command is basically just as if it's emulating as if the user clicked um, oh my bad. If it clicked a button or pressed a key, but but they didn't physically do that. So what we want to do is we want to send keys dot send to tell it to send it. Then in parentheses, in quotation marks, in curly brackets, say text box one dot text. Close all this, and then we can just uh, hit enter. And say uh, our new line say send keys dot send then in uh, inside a parentheses inside quotation marks inside of curly brackets say enter. Actually, actually, wait, well, my bad. Um, I messed this up a little bit. We don't. We only want this inside parentheses, not inside anything else. The text box one not text. So if we go ahead and open the program up. And hit uh, start just to make sure everything's working. Okay. And we can go ahead and just open the program like Notepad. And say test. And then 
This is going to spam it at a 100 millisecond interval, and that's pretty much it. Now, it's going to hit enter. It's going to emulate as if, if, as if they hit enter. So what you can do with this is open up, let's say, uh, a Steam chat, and just start spamming away. It's going to keep sending messages to them automatically, and we can just go ahead and stop that. And close out out all of this. Get back into the program, and now we've have we have a working uh, spammer. And in the later tutorials, we're actually gonna pimp this out to beyond all hell. And so I hope to see you in future videos. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, please.